Welcome to Jan's world of psychic art. It doesn't matter where you start, if you start with an eye or you start with a nose or perhaps you start with the hair or the profile, it really doesn't matter. Most of the portraits that I draw do start with the eyes. And I think that, for me in particular, is because when I'm drawing, that is where the spirit person, in my opinion, comes in. Um, that's when I become more aware. They say that the eyes are a window of the soul and I truly believe that is true um, you know because you can see so much in an eye you know as I'm getting closer to the person starting to come onto the paper for me the way that I work I'm starting to sense the illness now the tiredness of the illness, what that would have done to them. And quite often when I'm working in this way, um, you know, uh, halfway through I could end up completely changing the eyes again. Um, perhaps there's something that I didn't quite capture. But that's okay. There's one, one lesson actually, you know, that I did learn and, you know, I really want to push on to other people is don't be afraid to rub out, you know. Don't be afraid to rub out. Now my, my mind is thinking, oh, you know, reminds me a bit of glasses, so I do feel that this person would have worn glasses. Some psychic artists feel that you shouldn't um, draw glasses in, you should give the impression of glasses. And others, they feel, well, you know what, well, I'll draw wrong glasses, but if they're the wrong shape, or I won't put them in, you know, um, one artist in particular, um, he takes uh, acetate glasses and places them over the portraits, <laughs> which I think is a very, very clever idea. I also feel that the person this portrait is for also wears glasses. Oops, sorry, didn't realise I'd gone a bit crooked there. Um, maybe they've got a bit of a problem with their glasses at the moment or they need to have their eyes checked again. Then you'll notice with like artists as well, you know, we all create very different portraits, don't we? You know, it's, it's like all forms of art. Um, it's very rare that you'll come across two artists that work in exactly the same way. It's almost like our fingerprint, you know. Um, and uh, that's fine, you know, don't be afraid to be different. So you can see here I'm using the mechanical pencils. Um, 
If you see me with a rubber in my hand as well, then that will be a putty rubber. I prefer using the mechanical pencils because that cuts out the need to um, sharpen. Um, one little click and it's all been renewed very nicely. See if I'm getting a little bit closer for you there. Um, I'm talking to you, I'm, I'm, I'm having guides also giving me little instructions every now and again, um, which is comforting to know that they're here with me helping as well. And this is something which I um, encourage you to listen out for when you're drawing. You might have a bit of a wacky idea and you think, God, you know what, I can't do that, that'd be silly. Well, you know what, um, a lot of my artwork would be classed as silly then, because um, I quite often get that when I'm working. My guides give me little um, art lessons of their own, and trust me, I had some really amazing results by doing that, and by allow myself to be receptive to them, unusual ideas. Perhaps as you're looking at this portrait, you're already starting to recognise them. Perhaps it's for you. Or perhaps it's reminding you of somebody. And I say this is really good use of spirit energy. Because all spirit portraits are created um, out of spirit energy. And um, and if we can bring comfort to more than one person at a time then I can't see how there's anything wrong with that. I know my guides love it. The frustrating one is, is when no one recognises. But sometimes, just recently I had a portrait recognised that I actually drew um, in uh, 2011. Um, which was absolutely wonderful, not just for me, but for the daughter who recognised her mother. Um, you can actually see photographic um, evidence of that on my website, uh, www.workingforspirit.com. Now, I feel I want to I bring in a W that's going to connect with this portrait in some way. Um, My mind just naturally always goes to a William when I think of a W name, but, um, you know, it might not be, it might not be. It's lovely, isn't it, seeing the person. For you, when, when did the person first start entering into the picture, into the portrait? I've, I've done um, a demonstration before where um, it's quite fascinating for me because someone has come up to me at the end and said, wow, Janet, you know, when you were drawing that portrait, I could see the person, they were standing next to, the, next to your easel whilst you, whilst you was drawing. And um, that, that just wowed me because um, I don't ever, ever see who I'm drawing. <laughs> so... Um, To know that somebody had seen them and was then able to remark upon the likeness of the person they actually stood standing there to me was just fascinating absolutely fascinating now another mystery with psychic art is um, you can't um, sometimes age a person just by the portrait 
because like ourselves, if we was going to go and have our pictures or our photos taken tomorrow, we would want to make sure we look nice and people in spirit, our loved ones are no different. So, um, so quite often I'm told that when I've drawn someone, I've actually drawn them um, looking a lot younger than what they actually were. Um, around the time when they got married seems to be um, a good age for being drawn. Um, but why not? They were really happy then, you know. Uh, another one might be that the, at the time, um, whatever you was going through in, in your life, um, they, they could really associate with that. Uh, for example, when they were 40, they might have been 80 when, when they passed the spirit, but when they were 40, they had something similar in their lives going on. So they might decide to, to come and be drawn at the age of 40. So sometimes we have to look back at portrait uh, photos. Sometimes you may think, well, you know, that looks like somebody I know and they're still alive. Well, don't worry, I'm not killing them off. I assure you that's not happening. What that means is sometimes, you know, someone in spirit is thinking about our loved ones who are still here. Or it could just be that there's a very striking resemblance to um, somebody in spirit. Um, so it may be a case of going off and having a look at some old photos. And don't just look for grandparents, you know, look at the aunties and the uncles and cousins as well. Because um, sometimes it can jump a little bit there. I feel that this person that I've drawn, um, they don't feel over old to me and um, I feel that things happened pretty quickly for them. Um, I do feel it was a relatively short illness that took them to spirit. Or um, um, an ongoing thing which, you know, just speeded up very quickly at the end. Um, my mind's going because I'm trying to remember <laughs> dates at the same time as drawing. All right. I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this spirit portrait. Perhaps you know who it is. You can always contact me through Facebook. My name is Jeanette Oakman. I have a website, www.workingforspirit.com as well. God bless. And may your relatives come and give you all a hug. Goodbye.